Hey, so Drexel's fully online now, but I've had this video edited for a while and it was scheduled to upload today, so I'm gonna upload it anyways, and also because I'm still moving in, and I'll explain that later in the video. But yeah, it's all good. Enjoy the video. Hello friends, it is Ash. Welcome back to another video on my channel. We are back, like we were last year, with another dorm haul. I've been really putting off filming this video, honestly, because I wanted to get all of my stuff together and a lot of my stuff is like physically here with me. Some things are still coming in the mail and some things are just a little too big to show on camera. But for the most part, I have everything I need for my dorm. But I was also procrastinating this video because I have all my college stuff like neatly organized in a bin. And in order to show you guys, I'd have to take apart that bin and then put it all back together and I was just really lazy so I didn't want to do that but I've been wanting to film this video for a very long time so I just decided screw it I'm just gonna deal with the consequences later so if you saw my last video I did a dorm shopping vlog and I explained that I'm actually not living in my sorority house anymore my roommate and I found an apartment because social distancing didn't work out with Greek housing the format of an apartment is a little different from the sorority house so i had to change some plans around but i'm really really excited about like all of the decorations i got and how my dorm is gonna look because pinterest came in handy this time i thought it'd be fun to just show you guys what i got for my dorm this year hopefully this gives you some inspiration for your dorm if you haven't already moved in at this point but you probably have because Drexel starts really late. Also, I did just want to say that as of right now, Drexel is doing hybrid. Psych, she really thought. Classes, which is why we can move in. And also, I have a lease at an apartment. It's not like a real dorm. So even if Drexel did go online, I could still move in. And most of my classes are actually online anyways, but I need to be on campus for multiple reasons. If you're new here, be sure to hit subscribe somewhere down below. Give this video a like and follow me on all of my social medias. They'll be floating around on the screen somewhere and linked in the description. Check me out on Spotify, listen to my music. So without further ado, let's get into this dorm room haul. So I think I should explain like what my dorm apartment decor theme is really. And I found it on Pinterest. I'll, I'll insert it right here. It's basically like very neutral with flowers and pink yeah just it's like really simple pretty minimalist but also like really cute um i have the flowers coming in the mail i got them from michael's and the mirror the circle mirror that i got from target it's in my living room right now it's a it's a little big so it's probably not best to show on camera but you'll see it when i move in and i'm really excited to set it up because I don't know, I think it'll look really cute. So yeah, that's why a lot of my dorm stuff is like white, black, gray, pink, things like like neutral colors and then a splash of pink. That's kind of it's kind of what I'm going for right now. Also, since move out was such a mess last year, like I honestly don't know where half of my stuff went, so I still gotta look for a lot of stuff. Also, that being said, this is definitely not everything that I need. Like I still have a lot more to buy for practical reasons, but this is all the fun, interesting stuff that should be on YouTube. No one really cares about my Tide Pods. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is actually not new. I'm sure some of you recognize this. Um, <laughs> this is my poster of New York City I got the poster itself off of society six and the frame came from target yeah um i'm gonna put this up in my dorm because i spent way too much money on this poster for it to not make a feature again in the sequel what anyways okay um so yeah i got this it's pretty old news but i still really love it so i'm gonna use it again there's no way for me to put this down neatly so I just so the next few pieces of decor that I have for this year are also from last year. I just changed it up a bit. Um, it's these picture frames. Oh, it's upside down. Okay, that's awkward. I had these picture frames last year, but I switched out the pictures to be these like really cool line drawing flower people. Yeah, let's call it that. But yeah, I think they're really cool. They're all different, but they still fit super well together. And I think it'll 
just be a nice little art piece from my dorm. So yeah, I just reused the frames from last year. Um, but I got the frames off of Amazon, so you should be able to find them again. The next thing that I see on top of my bin is this dream catcher thing. I got this off of like an online boutique somewhere, but you can honestly find like a knockoff anywhere. But yeah, it's really cool. It's shaped like a moon. And this is what it looks like. She's pretty. It's got a little moon charm. I enjoy that. So the next thing I have in this bin is actually something I made when I was bored during the like very beginning of quarantine. And it's this canvas. It's just like a butterfly canvas and it has Alpha Sigma Alpha on it. That's my sorority. Um, I don't know. I think it's really nice. It'll fit in well with my room theme. I just need to like tidy it up a bit, I guess, because it's a little... She a little scratched from being in there, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet, but it fits really well, so I'll figure it out. So the next thing that I have in here is this letter board. I actually got this at Target at the very beginning of freshman year um, when I was already in Philly. Like my roommates and I, we went to a Target to just buy some more things and they left me with this when I moved out. They both live like pretty local to the area, so they were able to move out of Drexel really quickly. I had to move out on like the very last day, so I was the last one to move out of my dorm. Take a shot for however many times I said move out in that past sentence. When I got there, a lot of the stuff was already gone, but they left me with this. So I'm guessing that means I get to keep it. Emma and Gabby, if you want this, then too bad. You shouldn't have left it in the freshman dorm. But yeah, so I am keeping this letter board and it goes really well with my room theme and I have all the letters right here so I can write something welcoming or a funny quote that Gabby says because we have a whole book of that. So this actually just fell out of the back of my letter board and I didn't realize I'd put this in here, but it's this other thing that I made when I was bored during quarantine. And it's a quote from Rupi Carr. Um, she's the author of Milk and Honey, you know, that book that went around Tumblr in 2013. Yeah, I have that book. And I actually really liked this quote that she wrote. It says, how you love yourself is how you teach others to love you. And I think that's really nice. And yeah, I guess I just wrote it on this like really simple piece of canvas. So I'll find some place on my wall to put this because this is actually a really nice thing to have. Okay, so these next few things I'm gonna show you guys are things that I made, like I DIY'd them and I'm really proud of myself for it. So if you guys remember from like 2014, Brandy Melville was a huge thing. They're kind of canceled now because they're like not accommodating to different body sizes, which is really stupid. But anyways, I digress. So back in like 2014 when Brandy Melville was a huge thing, everyone liked their like signs that they had. If you remember, I'll insert a picture right here if you don't. But I still really love the look of those signs. And even though I don't wear Brandy Melville anymore, um, I still like their signs. So <laughs> I DIY'd one. It says Alpha Sig, which is the name of my sorority. Um, and I just got the wooden plaque from Michael's, which you saw in my last vlog. Um, and yeah, I just painted it and it took a lot of trial and error because I'm not an artist, but I was able to do it and it's gonna look super cute in my room. I also made two other smaller wooden signs. Um, so this one, it says have a nice shit slash day. I saw this on a sign somewhere else and I was like, that's really cute, but I could DIY this on my own. So I did. And this is gonna go in my bathroom above my toilet. Yeah, you should have a nice day or shit or anything like that. And then the last sign I made is this one. It also says my sorority on it. And I made this for my sorority sister who is my roommate and I really hope she doesn't watch this. Julia, if you're on this video, just, just skip this part. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna give this to her and I hope she likes it. The next thing that I have here are just these clear um, book stoppers um, because my desk at my apartment doesn't really have that much storage. So there's not a lot of place to put my books. So I figured I would just have them like on top of my desk in like a row. So I just got these book stoppers so that you know they don't fall over. Um, but yeah, they're just clear and I got this off of Zaful, I think. Either Zaful or Romwe, one of those. So to knock out all of the like kitchen utensil stuff out of the way. Um, so the next thing that I've got here is some nonstick ceramic pans, skillet sets. 
from Target. I need these because we have a full kitchen in our dorm this year. I keep saying dorm. I should say apartment. It's really an apartment. We have a full kitchen in our apartment, like with a stove top and everything. And a meal plan is not required of me this time around. So hopefully I can cook some things. I was having this conversation with my friend last night that I really don't know how to cook too many things, but I, I am prepared to learn. And if not, this is a really good weapon against burglars. That was a really smart decision. I could have hit my camera with that. I have this pot specifically to make ramen or pasta or mac and cheese, like anything of that nature, because that's really all I've got going for me at the moment. But hopefully I can learn to make like, I don't know, soup or something and I can put it in here. Um, but yeah, so I just got this from Target and it's, it's really nice. I enjoy this pot. So the next thing that I got are these bowls from Target. These ones are actually from last year, um, but I decided to get some more in like different sizes just because, again, I'm probably going to be eating more from my room than the dining halls this year because I'm probably not going to be on a very fulfilling meal plan. Um, so I'm definitely going to be cooking a lot more and I need a lot more bowls. So I just got this big bowl for salads or popcorn something like that and then i got these like half bowls i guess you could call them i would highly recommend these like i said they're from target and they were like 79 cents each so they're pretty cheap and they come in a lot of different colors these again aren't new i have these from last year but they are the exact same things as the bowls they're just pink plates and cups that were all 79 cents each from target and they are really great. They served me really well last year and I'm excited to use these again. They're really easy to wash too, so that's that's great. And we also have a dishwasher, which is amazing. Washing dishes was such a pain in the ass last year. So I got this set of utensils. I believe there are 20 pieces in here. You want to get a lot of utensils for your dorm because I went to school with my own set of utensils. I mean, like I shared it with my roommates, obviously. We kind of just all threw it into a drawer, but I bought a set of utensils just like this. And when I moved out, I had none left. I mean, hopefully that doesn't happen to you just because my move out was a whole mess, obviously because of Corona kicking everybody out of the dorms. But I'm also pretty sure one of my roommates stole it. Probably the one we didn't like, T, but. <laughs> No. But yeah, bottom line, you should probably get a lot of utensils. You're gonna need them for eating in your room, obviously, and they just they go missing really quickly. So the next thing that I got is actually for my bathroom. So my apartment's kind of split in half where like I share a bedroom and a bathroom with one roommate and then two other girls share a different bathroom and a different bedroom. And then we all share like the common area with like the living room and the kitchen and all of that. So I just got some stuff for the bathroom that I'm sharing with the one girl that I'm with and I just got this gray bath mat. Um, I wasn't really sure what her vibe was and when I FaceTimed her she was kind of like, I don't really care, you can make the executive decision. So I just decided it would probably be safe to go neutral with the things that I get. So I just got this gray one, it's really soft, it's memory foam and this is from Target. And then I also got this gray bath mat with like white diamonds on it because I thought this was really cute and it would go really well with the shower curtain that I got. Speaking of the shower curtain, you probably remember like my struggle trying to find a good shower curtain from my last vlog. So this is the shower curtain I got. I don't know if you can see here but this is what it looks like when it's all spread out and it's just like these really nice watercolor flowers on a white background. Like I said, I got this from Target. So it's a cloth material, which I didn't know how I felt about that, but my mom was like, it's fine, you'll be fine. So I just decided to get it. You probably have to wash, you definitely have to wash it every once in a while. So that's just a sacrifice that we're gonna have to make, but it's okay. So the next thing that I have is my shower liner. This really isn't anything special. Um, I got this at Target and it was the cheapest one. And yeah, it's just a shower liner. You know, you need it when you shower because otherwise the water will flow out of the tub and it's really annoying to clean up. So I got one and that's about it. <laughs> the next thing that I got is half old, half new. It's this cushion. It's 
like I think the pattern is called vanilla bean but just it's it's white with black polka dots and the cushion cover is actually new but the cushion inside of it is what I was using for my red cushions if you remember that from my dorm last year. Don't know if I want to put this on my bed just yet or maybe on like my chair or something because I have a big bed this year which is really exciting. I've never had more than a twin size bed or a twin XL so I'm really excited to have like a full bed. It's not as big as a queen but it's it's something different which I'm really excited about. So yeah I got this. So the next thing that I've got in this bin are these two sheet sets i had to get new ones because like i said before my bed is bigger it's like twice the size of a normal twin bed i believe so i didn't have any sheets that fit it so that's why i had to get these and i always like to have two sets of sheets so that i can switch them out like bi-weekly and i just got this one in pink this is from macy's and then this one is from Target and it's like white and gray stripes. I don't know if you could see that. I don't know. I just thought these would be a little more fun and add a little more detail to the room than white sheets because my comforter is white, which I'll show you guys later. But I thought to switch things up a little bit and give it a little more detail. So I got some fun pattern sheets. The next thing that I have to show you guys is my comforter. It's just a down comforter from Target and it's in a full size because that's the kind of bed that my apartment has. Um, so yeah, I'm really all about that simple white comforter vibe, obviously, as you can see from my bed here and from my dorm room last year. So yeah, I just got this. It's super soft and comfy. I also had to get a new mattress topper. Um, it's in a cardboard box outside of my living room that I didn't want to bring in here because it's pretty big but I think it's called a therapeutic um, and I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond, which is also where I got my mattress topper last year for my freshman dorm. So the last thing that I got for my apartment this year is actually sitting on my bed right now and it is this chair pillow. My boyfriend calls it a husband pillow. If that's accurate, please let me know in the comments because I don't know, I feel weird saying that, but I got this chair pillow. Um, a lot of my friends last year had it on their beds and they highly recommended it for your back and especially because a lot of my classes are online and I'll probably be doing a lot of school work there I wanted to have something to just like lean on when I'm doing work on my laptop and it's really nice it's really comfy um, and I also got it from Target it was like $18 which is a steal because I heard some of them are pretty expensive so yeah, I would recommend that. So anyways, that was my dorm haul. I'm sorry, it was like super all over the place and I couldn't show you like really the main stuff that I have, but they're just too big um, or they, they're not here yet. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this nonetheless. And if you made it to this point in the video, you are a very good human and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.